Ooh Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the blog. So today is a great day. Amazing day. Sunny as well. Southern California finally. It's been cold these past few days, but today is a good day. And with that, today was delivery day as well. So let's check this out. Let's show you what came in because I am freaking excited. It's probably the one one of the last few mods I do to the car, but it's definitely worth it. So let's check it out. I'm going inside. And that's right. I'm inside the crib right now and yeah. So before I show you, let's talk about it. I ordered these on a Saturday night, I think around like one or two a two one or two AM or in the morning. Couldn't sleep. And then you know how retail therapy goes, so I ended up just pulling the trigger. But man, man, let me tell you. Look at those boxes. Oh, you can't see them. And tires. I didn't even focus. But yeah. Look at that. Yeah, some good old tires. And some ESR wheels. So with the tires, I went ahead and got some 245, 4018, and the ESRs. So let me unbox them. Well, unbox one of them, one of them, so I can show you what actually is in the box. I'm not gonna tell you what will it is. I'm just gonna show you and explain the specs of it, and then when I have them uh, installed, hopefully I can get them installed today. All right, let's get this box open. The moment of truth after this. Oh, sweet Jesus. Ooh -wee. There we go. So, and these are the ESR CS15 or CS15, whichever you want to call it. The sides on these are going to be the 18 by 9.5 with a plus 35 offset. I wanted to go for that whole boxy look, kind of, I guess, flush fitment. I don't want too major poke or camber or anything like that. So, one with these size, with this size on all four wheels. Um, like I said, I already set the tires, the 245 by 40 by 18. So, I shouldn't have any rubbing. The car's lowered on spring, so it shouldn't rub. It shouldn't rub, but yeah, um, I'm gonna try and load these in the car. If not, uh, I do have a homie that may be able to use his truck and we can go right down the street and put these on, but uh, let's get to it. Let's see if I can get these uh, tires mounted and the wheels installed on the car. Many, many minutes later. Wait, it is going together. We at the shop right now. Oh, you can't even see my face. Yeah, we at the shop getting it in, but uh, yeah, uh, I think once they get done, I'll actually uh, do a video. More likely in the morning because I got things to take care of, but damn. Here we go. Water. Oh, shit. Ah, 
gotta stay hydrated that is a must but the car is done wheels are on and looks great these tires I got there's some uh, neato gen something tires pretty sticky like really sticky but I like it but anyways let me tell you about some issues that came up I always have issues like nothing's ever smooth sailing for me always have issues um so the front two wheels perfect no issues perfectly fine the rear driver side so that one two of the uh nuts were stripped onto the the stud so in the attempt to get one off it broke so it was more of a do i take off the third one the second one make uh trying to take the risk of it, if it breaking or if it just coming straight off and then i was uh i was given the option to just roll like that or just go down to uh, O'Reilly's and pick up some some studs. So I ended up doing that, going to O'Reilly's and picking up some studs. They replaced it, uh, put the wheels on. So now I'm just missing two lug nuts, which is another issue that I came came across. The lug nuts that I ordered were the wrong uh, thread size. So right now I'm rolling around on the stock lug nuts. Um, not bad and then on the rear passenger side as well one of the uh, bolts are stripped in who knows so I gotta replace that lug as uh, that lug stud or whatever it's called as well so three are one bad so yeah um, I'm actually later on I'm going to go get some actual uh, lug nuts for all something black because the chrome I'm not really feeling it but let me get out and show you how it looks overall. Um, it hasn't settled in the height wise, but you'll see. Just give me a second. It's bright. So there we go. There we go. Like I said, the right height hasn't really settled in, for instance. A little bit of space, which is not bad for me. Then on the rear, barely. But man, look at that! Look at that right there. Looks good. Down to this side, looks good as well. Ooh wee! And look good, boy. Tomorrow I'm getting a good wash, good old wash. I'm across the street. Get a better view. The car looks good. But yeah, I ended up getting going inside the car right now and uh, getting in the studs. Yeah, it's fucked up. This one as well. Focus on the inside. Somewhat. Yeah, you can see that one. And then one more. Yeah, you can't even see it. So, yeah, this is the one that actually snapped off. I think the other ones where it just spinned off and not. So, you can see right here. This is one of the new ones. Uh, I don't know which other one it was, but yeah. So I had to replace this one and then on this side as well it's gonna be this one right here so we're gonna take the Honda and go get it because yeah I need to can't be rolling around like that But, you know, as always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned to the next video.